Go Jackers! Good afternoon, all, and welcome to Rec Talk. So, some kind of, I guess, bittersweet news. Now, it's not a done deal yet, but it appears that Jason Seymour, Coach Boogie, um, will be taking the defensive coordinator position at Marshall. Um, as this was happening yesterday, originally SI put an article out, and then then they took it back, and the link led to like an error 404. Now they're saying he hasn't um, interviewed for it, but he's the front runner, and he will interview um, this week. If you don't know who Jason Seymour is, um, Jason Seymour was originally hired by Collins um, as a defensive analyst. I think in 2021 he went, or 2020 maybe, uh, he went to uh, Valdosta State the season after, won uh, a national title as the defensive coordinator at Valdosta State. So he's certainly a guy you know, who knows what he's doing. Uh, he comes back as the linebackers coach, um, and when Key takes over as interim, is promoted to special teams coordinator. Um, which was no small feat um, to turn around. We were we were averaging when when Seymour took over special teams. We were averaging a blocked punt per week. So through four weeks, we had four blocked punts. Um, and now we certainly had snafus in special teams. You know, Duke nearly took one back on us, or might have Virginia Tech. I know did take a punt back on us, but we didn't have one blocked. <laughs> That's that's important. Uh, but I think he did a good job. Obviously, he coached two of the best linebackers we've had in some time in uh, Ely and uh, Charlie Thomas. Uh, was in the running uh, for the, was it on three or fo- it was football scoop linebacker coach of the year. So I'm sure it was um, disheartening for him to take a uh, basically demotion. So. He went from being linebackers coach and special team coordinator, special teams coordinator, to just special teams coordinator. We bring in Kevin Scher um, to coach linebackers and be the co-defensive coordinator. Um, I'm sure that rubbed Coach Boogie the wrong way a little bit. It would me, you know, if you're like if you're a player, you want to make the NFL. Um, If you're a coach, you want to progress to becoming a head coach. I'm sure so. Taking a step back is not um, preferable. So I would imagine um, when he interviews with Marshall, if they do offer him the defensive coordinator position, he's going to take it. Uh, it really, I can't really see a reason why why he wouldn't, other than Brent Key just, you know, lays out this great case for why he should stay and 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 what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hate to see Coach Boogie go. Um, I have the um, AJC article pulled up here. Uh, it says Seymour's replacement will be the seventh on-field coaching hire that Coach Brent Key will make this off-season. The first for a coach who has left the staff for a job somewhere else. Basically, the first for someone who's being hired by a, by another um, school because they want him. Uh, Only defensive coordinator Andrew Thacker, defensive back coach Travaris Tillman, and quarterbacks coach slash co-offensive coordinator Chris Winkie will remain uh, on staff uh, from the original. So, um, yeah, again, I hate to see uh, Coach Seymour go, but if he does, like, I absolutely wish him the best. I think he's a fantastic coach. I think he did a fantastic job um, coaching linebackers and – trying to turn around the special teams and really accomplishing that um, for Georgia Tech. Um, I think he's a top-notch defensive uh, coordinator. Probably a better hire than Alabama made. Like Alabama hired Miami's defensive coordinator. And it's like, uh, if you just knew that, you'd be like, oh, Miami must have won 10 games this year. No, they didn't even make a bowl. So uh, really head-scratching to see Alabama – uh, hiring a defensive coordinator off a team that uh, won five games. So uh, who knows? Uh, maybe they had some phenomenal defense. Maybe it's like the Yellow Jackets last year where 
Andrew Thacker and uh, the defense of Georgia Tech were kind of the cornerstone. So uh, let me get, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, do you like um, – do you think this is a loss for Georgia Tech? Um, do you think we made the right decision um, bringing in Kevin Scher and, and basically letting um, Seymour walk? <clears throat> but if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, um, hopefully I've earned that. We have merch. Uh, you can use code RECTALK and get 10% off. We have hats, shirts, mugs. And uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, check out the description. Guys, the description is always important. Check out that description. We'll talk to you guys later.